purpose um, to write songs that were inspirational and empowering to girls my age. Mm -hmm. um, and I've kind of realized that my music doesn't just affect those people. I've had, you know, women that are twice my age come up to me. I've had, you know, tiny children that enjoy my song, um, men of all different ages that enjoy my songs. And um, my, my goal, though, initially was to write music um, that inspired young women to find security um, within themselves with God, mm -hmm. um, to be confident in themselves and to, like I, I have a song called He Thinks I'm Beautiful and I wrote that whole song about every, every moment of my life where I just feel like I am not beautiful. Uh, one of the lines is, um, I wake up in the morning with pillow creases on my cheeks, my ponytails on the top of my head, you know, and those are the days, you know, when I wake up in the morning and I look at myself and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just don't feel pretty. And um, my, I wrote this song about my boyfriend and how it didn't matter what I looked like, he still thought it was beautiful, you know, because he, he wasn't looking simply at the outside, he was looking at the inside. And, and I think that when people really look deep inside and look at other people, they, they look past the outer shell and, you know, it's, it's like the whole don't judge a book by its cover, you know, somebody can be beautiful on the inside and when you take the time to get to know them that way, um, or when you believe in yourself that way, when you believe you are beautiful no matter what and you're fearfully and wonderfully made, you know, you, you have this confidence um, that you can get anywhere else except for God. So I, I learned a lot from that relationship and he kind of taught me that, you know, I... When I'm wearing my glasses, I'm still pretty, you know? And even if I don't think I'm pretty, even if I'm not pretty to the standards of this world, um, even if I don't look like a Victoria's Secret supermodel, you know, I'm still beautiful. And it's, I mean, it's deeper than just the skin, so. To not give in to those guys that come around and try and smooth talk them and to, to make them feel confident in themselves that, that they don't have to give in to people, um, you know, give in to just anyone, that they, they should have a standard for a guy. You know, a real, one of the lines is a real man knows what love is and I completely believe that. You know, a lot of, a lot of guys are out there trying to fake it with girls and just, you know, to get what they want and I think girls need to be aware of that and they need to be ready to combat that and confident in themselves that they don't have to give in to that, so. Did you hear that, son? <laughs> I'm not the only one that said it. <laughs>